our community, Rockport all together, uh, has endured a lot over these past few months. Uh, so much devastation. Uh, you can still see it around. But uh, our hope is in the Lord. Our hope is definitely in the Lord. After the hurricane hit, our parish was totally devastated and we were, we had to, our, in desperate need of a location to have mass and we we're blessed enough to have this facility. I feel very fortunate that my husband and I are able to help our parish uh, slowly get back on its feet while we're, while it's, you know, rebuilding and by having mass here at our gym, which is uh, the, probably the most unlikely place that someone would have mass at. We are a very small community, tight niche, with the, uh, the Vietnamese that came here in the late 70s. Growing up together, everybody knows everybody. When we first came back from Harvey and um, saw the campus, the sanctuary and father's rectory, as well as the church hall, and all the debris that were just piling up on this campus, it was really a uh, um, shock and an eye-opener for the parishioners. The parishioners are anxiously hoping and praying that we get to rebuild this church sooner than later. Lo lắng cho cuộc sống của mình, nhưng mình là người một người Công giáo, thì đương nhiên mình sẽ nhìn dưới một con mắt của một đức tin, với một cái tinh thần của người Công giáo thì đương nhiên cuộc sống sẽ à, chúa cho rồi chỗ sẽ lấy đi rồi uh, chú sẽ cho lại những cái nhiều khi có thể mất nhỏ nhưng mà chú sẽ cho những cái lớn hơn rồi đức tin của mình thì đương nhiên là mình là người công giáo phải cố gắng giữ những cái niềm tin uh, và nhìn cho cho tương lai chứ không phải là cho cái cái hiện tại đương nhiên thì cái bảo thì cái cuộc sống cũng rất là khó khăn cho mình nhưng mà mình phải cố gắng để vượt qua thôi okay. My name is Kathy Barnes. I'm principal here at Sacred Heart School in Rockport. This was my 18th year as principal. And when Hurricane Harvey hit us in August, it hit us hard. And from September to now, we've tried to maintain contact with our families through our Facebook parent community page, through our website, our phone calls. It's hard to see it in this shell the sounds of the kids aren't here, seeing them, socializing, their love for each other, their love for their school, their teacher, our Lord, it's, it's hard to not have that in here right now. When someone asks why this happened, it's a very difficult question to answer. Of course, I as a pastor, as a basic human being, don't have that answer per se. Uh, so the words of hope and encouragement that I give them is to let them know that uh, there is a, a community of faith uh, that stands with them. I believe that whatever happens, the heart of Sacred Heart, the school, the people, the teachers, the children, that's what has remained. And that's what's going to keep us going because that's the strength where we get our strength from our supporters and from our faith in God. The uh, rebuilding has begun and the cleaning has begun also. Um, but there's still so, so much to do. But it is a new normal uh, for us in Rockport. Uh, we know that we are going to get better. It's gonna take time. Uh, Rockport will become Rockport once again, where people will want to, will want to come back uh, and enjoy the beauty, uh, the relaxation, um, the place that Rockport uh, was once before.